Lord, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord make haste to help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. On the third morn he rose again, glorious in majesty to reign. Oh, let us swell the joyful strain. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O risen Lord, all praise to Thee, who from our sin has set us free. That we may live eternally. Alleluia. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the Lord's tomb. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master. Sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion, your, your scepter of power, power ruling the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord was so old, he will not change. You are priests forever, a prince like me, second of all. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the Lord's tomb. Alleluia. Come and see the place where the Lord was buried. Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from the alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the side, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains fled by arms, and the hills like Jerusalem. Why was it? See that you fled, that you turned back Jordan on your course, mountains that you left like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, o earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flees into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as he was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come and see the place where the Lord was buried. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to set out for Galilee, where they will see me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord, our, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun. 
and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and so will be forever. Amen. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to set out for Galilee, where they will see me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to the Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? He replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women of our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported and had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe that all the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them, and it happened that while he was with, table at them, with them at table, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, so that their eyes were opened and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us in the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, the Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then they, the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The story of the events on the road to Emmaus um, only appears in Luke's Gospel, at least in detail. Aside from Mark's you know, very ambiguous reference of Jesus appearing, appearing to two disciples on their way to the country in Mark 16, Luke is the only one to have this event in the Gospel. Matthew, Mark, and John did not. This made me think that the evangelist must be trying to emphasize something more than just another story about Jesus. Why did Luke feel that the road to Emmaus narrative should be included in his gospel? Okay, well, on reflection, my first um, thought that came to mind, one of the reasons why I would propose that he included his, uh, the Emmaus story was that he wanted to prove to his readers that the Messiah indeed is risen. 
truly raised from the dead. The Paschal mystery is central to our faith. If Christ's resurrection did not happen, then everything that we, the faithful, knew of the church is not true, and we who believe will perish in our sins. Just as like St. Paul says, if, this, if his resurrection didn't happen, then um, our faith is in vain. Such is the magnitude of the importance of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it's amazing that his disciples have fallen into disbelief after the death of Christ. Even though they have heard it directly from him, you know, for three years he was talking about it. That he will suffer and die and be raised after three days. Saint Cyril of Alexandria in his commentary in the Gospel of Luke said, as the two of the disciples walked into the village of Emmaus, they conversed with one another concerning Christ, regarding him as no longer living, mourning him as dead. They were distraught, disappointed, discouraged that their expectations of Jesus to be the one to save Israel, that's the way they understood it, is not to be. Saint Cyril further says that not only do they mourn for him as dead, they show that they had been induced to believe the news. They were confused. They didn't believe the women that came to them. The appearance of the risen Christ on a remote country in Emmaus, the Cleopas and his companion, um, they were followers, but they were not one of the twelve. And this is what I was um, reflecting on. Um, that that Luke included this because he's trying to convince people that it really happened. It's not just to the twelve, but also to other other people, and uh, Theopas and his, and his friend. <coughs> and even later in the Acts, uh, Saint Paul uh, mentioned five hundred brothers that that, he, that Jesus appear, appeared to him with five hundred brothers. In, in, the, in his letter to the uh, Corinthians. The second um, point that I would like to make is, is that um, as Jesus was keep repeating and repeating about um, what is going to happen to him, and now it has finally happened, the, this is the fulfillment of, of uh, the, uh, the prophecies in the, in the scriptures. Luke aimed to demonstrate the Paschal mystery as the fulfillment of the scriptures. Jesus spent time in explaining everything to the two. If, if, even if we look even closer, we'll find that the account of Emmaus is really um, liturgical. There is the, the liturgy of the word, there's reading, there's the Old Testament reference to Old Testament, and there's the homily, he explained it. And later there is the, the liturgy of the Eucharist. Now the third point is obviously the breaking of the bread, the Eucharist. It was then when Jesus broke the bread that they recognized him. In our situation today many are confused many are in disbelief that we are in this situation that we are hunkered down in our in our homes Luke is reminding us our church is reminding us that even though we are confused even though we feel that right now life is difficult. We only need to focus on God's Word. We are not alone. God is always with us. The beauty of, of the two disciples realizing that it is Jesus is, as soon as the bread is broken. I would say that it's similar to what we are in the situation now although we cannot really receive him sacramentally 
as we watch um, uh, as live streaming of, of the Mass, and we participate in the Mass, live streaming, we cannot receive him sacramentally. It is a reminder for us that the moment the bread is broken, that we are one with him. And we pray in, in our act of, of uh, sacramental communion that he be with us, that he stays in our heart. This is what happens to the disciples, and this is our faith. And I hope that we hang on to that. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. Jesus went in with them. <clears throat> and while they were at table, he took bread and said the blessing. <clears throat> he broke the bread and gave it to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> My soul, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will all be blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast out the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has, he has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of the servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, he is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus went into them, and while they were at the table, he took the bread and said a blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to them. Hallelujah. Christ rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Let us pray to him, saying, Lord, remember all who ministers in your service. May their holy lives be an example to your people. Give to those who govern us the spirit of justice and peace so that the human family may live in harmony. Guide our days in the way of salvation and fill the earth with your plenty for the sake of the needy. Christ our Savior, light of the world, you have called creation from death to life. May, may your light shine forever on our departed brothers and sisters. In the, at the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, on this solemn feast, you give us the joy of recalling the rising of Christ to new life. May the joy of our annual celebration bring us to the joy of eternal life. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Hallelujah.